What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do a back workout today, only back. Uh, I'm not really feeling anything else. I already hit arms the other day and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, today's gonna be a back vlog. I'm on my own right now, so I'm trying to gonna I'm gonna try to get as many workouts as I can alone. But obviously, you know, at the gym, if you're wor if you're working out alone and you're trying to record as well, it could be a little bit complicated. But I'm gonna do my best. Uh, after that, I'm gonna talk about basically how to get bigger in the gym, essentially. Um, I'm gonna probably go for a walk and yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys tips on, you know, how to get mass, how to, what you should eat, what you should lift, if you know, all the myths and all that stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna try to get um, as many tips as possible. And like, like I said, if you guys have any questions, just comment down and I'll see what I can do to reply. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be today's vlog and I'm about to go get an energy drink because I have not had any caffeine today. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna get right into it, all right? See you guys in there. Best energy drink out there. Cherry flavored 3D. There's nothing better than this. 180 grams of caffeine too, which is pretty good. But yeah, my favorite. <laughs> Okay, so that was a really good workout. Um, my back is pretty sore right now. I didn't really get everything in. I tried to get as much as possible in. I just did back strictly. I didn't do any biceps or anything like that. Um, forgot to take my creatine pills. I take the pill version of creatine just because, I don't know, it goes down easier. Um, you just need to take two before and two after and then it just, you're set. Uh, versus the powder, which sometimes you can't get everything. Um, because like, I don't know, I, I mean, at least I can't get everything. I tend to dry scoop the powder, <laughs> which, um, it's not that good for you. Cause you know, you're not supposed to dry scoop creatine pre-workout. You're not supposed to dry scoop any powder, even whey protein. Um, yeah, the pills you just, oh, spilled my water. Pills you just take two before, two after. And there's like 192 capsules in there. So you got you got a good amount and plus you guys basically how to get big if that's your guys goal or if it's cardiovascular i know a couple of things about that i used to play soccer for like years um but yeah instead of walking i'm just gonna drive around um it's pretty busy today at the park it's a weekday um there's probably schools and everything like that so yeah i'm just gonna drive around see how this goes um <laughs> okay so the big question is basically how to get big if that's your goal if you want to you know maybe you're like 14 15 and you're seeing sebum for the first time and you're like damn i really want to look like that guy um but you don't know the steps on how to get to his position obviously he's been training for like 10 to 12 years so he knows a lot and everything and i'm i'm about close to three years in uh i'm 18 right now i started around 16 i was always a little bit bigger when i was younger too uh just because i would go to like boot camp classes and i played soccer for i don't know 10 to 12 years something like that as well um the reason why i switched from soccer to weight training like i started with soccer and then like the last year we just never had games anymore because of like covid and everything right so everybody just transitioned uh just to practices and like i don't know online meetings which you know isn't really <laughs> anything for soccer um so that's when i started training weights and how i trained weights actually i didn't even have a gym as well um what i did was uh, i had a pretty decent size i have a decent sized backyard 
I had a pair of tires and I had pairs of uh, rocks as well. And what I would do is I would put the rocks inside the tower tires and I would use them as like dumbbells or I would use them as doing like shrugs. Um, sometimes I'd be able to bench. I wasn't really able to bench with the tires just because, you know, uh, things fall out of them. Um, but what I did for benching though is I, I didn't have a bench, so I had to kind of build my own. Um, and, I, and my dad brought home a rod, a metal rod from his work. Um, and what I used that rod for, I, I put it in between two pairs of tires. And uh, basically, I just started benching it on the bench that I built. And from there, that's when I got my chest gains. The first ever workout plan I did, it was a push-pull legs workout. And for you guys that don't know push-pull legs, push is basically all your push muscles. So like chest, you need to push uh, like the bench, the barbell off of you. Um, and so that would be chest and, and same with shoulder press. That would also be push. You know, you're pressing the dumbbells above your head or the barbell above your head and then triceps. Um, like maybe you're doing close grip bench or maybe you're doing tricep push downs with like a rope or a straight bar. Um, so that would be push basically. Yeah. Chest, shoulders and triceps. And then you got pull which is uh, back and biceps. So basically like barbell rows, you're pulling the barbell to your stomach. Uh, lap pull downs, you're pulling it down to your chest, uh, things like that. And also biceps, which you're, you know, curling all of that, right? So that's all pulling them. Legs is just legs, squats, things like that. I have tons of plans on my TikTok. I always post plans and everything like that. Actually, recently I posted uh, the Arnold split, which is chest, back, shoulders and arms and legs six times a week. Um, and I also posted a push pull leg split with workouts and everything like that, which uh, some of them got a good amount of views and I got comments about, you know, people appreciating it and all that stuff, which I felt really grateful for. Uh, but yeah, so that would be push pull legs is my first ever workout routine that I started to do. Um, and basically how I got into it was I, was, I got really sick um, at the beginning of COVID. Oh, I got to end my workout on my Apple watch. All right, so how I got into it, yeah, like I was saying, we had no more games anymore and we had Zoom calls for soccer, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, so I was really sick. I think this was the beginning of COVID and I started binge watching a ton of movies, like literally Hunger Games, movies I've seen before and movies I've never seen. I binge watched Hunger Games, which I've seen when I was younger. Um, I binge watched, you know, Avengers, which obviously I've seen before. Um, but what really made me, you know, kind of get into the weightlifting journey was the, I binge watched X-Men and I saw Hugh Jackman's body. And I, the first couple of uh, X-Men's, his body wasn't great, but the one where he did his own uh, movie when he went to Japan, that was the one when I saw his body and I was like, wow, like I really want to look like that. And so all I did was I searched up Wolverine workout routine or workout plan, PDF, things like that. Um, keywords like that, which, basically brought me a five-day training split of push-pull legs of how he trained to turn you know his body into that obviously I believe he did some steroids as well which is a whole nother topic um, but you know without working out the steroids don't work anyways so he did do effort to get that body and honestly that body like it was the one unrealistic thing about his body was how low body fat percentage he had he had a crazy low body fat percentage um, but he was still super muscular. Um, so that's basically how I started. I just saw how he looked and I was like, wow, I really want to look like that. And so it gave me a five day push pull legs routine. And so I started working out, you know, I started hitting my push muscles, my pull muscles, leg muscles, um, about five times a week. And normally if you're a busy person, four days a week would be fine. You just probably won't be able to do like push pull legs because that's a six week, I'm mean, sorry, six day uh, plan. Uh, you'll have to think about something smaller. Maybe you can do an upper uh, day where you train your upper body. So all your upper body muscles and then you can do a lower body day and then you can do uh, an arms day and then maybe a chest and back day. That could be a good um, uh, four days a week training split. But if you're younger or if you just have more time, six days a week, it, it, it's just my favorite. And once you get into the habit of going six days a week, it's it's a game changer. Um, but for building muscle, for cardio, uh, it's a little bit different. 
but I'm just gonna talk about building muscle today. Um, so yeah, I started with five days and I was basically just training, training about five days a week, doing um, push-pull legs. Um, and I, I started to see results probably within the first month. Uh, I started to become a little bit more muscular but like I wasn't putting on any size. It was basically just like my body fat percentage was changing from essentially fat. It, it doesn't, it's, your fat doesn't change to muscle, but the mass helps you grow muscle. So basically I was growing baby muscle is what I'm trying to say. I was growing like a small chest. I grew uh, some decent arm sizes. I, I grew a little bit of legs, um, nothing too extreme, just a good amount of muscle. Um, and I was pretty cut at the time too. I was about 10, 11%. Uh, I was really skinny, I would say, when I started. But earlier in the childhood, in my childhood, I was a little bit bigger as a kid. Um, so yeah, I started building muscle. And then I started doing more research because it, it plateaued after a month. You know, I just stopped building muscle after a month and it started to plateau. And I'm like wondering why this is happening, why I'm not putting on any more muscle anymore. And I did some research and obviously, obviously, obviously you need food. Food is the biggest thing uh, for building muscle. And like without, <laughs> if you're not eating the proper food and you're working out six, five, whatever days a week, you're never gonna see results. Food is literally everything. For me right now, I'm 205 pounds right now. I'm cutting right now. The peak of my bulk, I was 230. Um, how it happened was uh, beginning of my bulk, I was 170 pounds. And I would say all my PRs, I don't know, I probably only had like a plate and a 25, so 175 for bench and like deadlift was probably like 225. So it was a good amount because that was probably my year and a half of working out. But I was 170 pounds, I was very, very cut. Um, and what I did was for the summer, I just bulked up to an incredible size. I went from 170 to 230 uh, in February. I was 230 pounds in February. Um, I put on about 40 pounds of muscle in about a month and a half, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, I'm sorry, not muscle, I wish. Uh, 40 pounds of mass, probably like 20 to 15 to 20 pounds of muscle probably. Um, and in that time I was doing push pull legs, which, you know, helped me a lot. My bench went from, you know, benching a plane to 25 to benching three plates at the peak of my bulk, um, which is 315 pounds, which I thought was pretty surreal. Uh, my shoulder press was a hundred pound dumbbells on each arm, uh, basically pressing two tiny humans um, for about like five to six reps. I was insane, okay? Uh, obviously I'm cutting now. I've probably lost about 25 pounds, um, which, you know, when you lose muscle, I mean, sorry, when you start to cut, you'll also lose muscle and losing muscle, uh, it, it causes you, you know, to decrease basically in, in, in strength, obviously, like in your strength training results. Like I, I used to be able to bench 225 for about 14 reps and now I can barely do 10, which I mean, 10 is still a great amount. Um, not trying to be cocky or anything it's just like when you personally like train train every single day and you're seeing results every other day and then all of a sudden it just all goes away I guess it's for a good cause because you're gonna look healthier and everything like that but it just hurts on the inside uh, but like I was saying food it's it's the biggest thing I remember Hugh Jackman said one time he was like you know building your dream physique 30% is the workout and 70% is the food if you're not eating the proper food then you're not gonna see any results at all. And apparently your food, basically, essentially it turns into you after 35 days. I don't know where I heard this. I heard something about like recomposition or some shit like in science. I don't know, I'm not that smart. <laughs> but food is literally everything like I've said before. Me, I'll put myself as an example. I'm 205 pounds. My current diet right now, I'm cutting. Uh, what you need to do is you get your weight, and you multiply by 12 if you're fairly fairly active, like you work out like three to four times a week. If you're very active, like you work out six to, six to seven days a week, then you multiply it by 14. And what happens is that number, it gives you a number, um, and that number, it'll be your maintenance. So that'll be how much you need to eat when you uh, just wanna maintain and just stay the way you look. 
Um, so that's gonna be how much you need to eat. And then what you do is upon that, you either add three to 500, depending on how extreme you want um, to put on muscle or lose muscle. For me, it's 500 because I, I, I would rather just cut faster and then maintain for a while. Um, but you can do you know a slow bulk or a slow cut or a fast bulk or even faster cut. Um, so yeah, you multiply it by 12 or 14 to see what your maintenance is. And then once you figure out your maintenance, uh, you either say if you're cutting, for my instance, uh, you subtract that by 500 just because I choose to. Uh, I believe right now I just need to have run roughly 2,100 calories a day to cut. Um, and so now you gotta figure out all your macros. Uh, for me, so macronutrients, you got your carbs, your fats, and your protein. And that all is gonna be divided by the amount of calories you take in a day. So me, for protein it's pretty simple. You basically just need to eat a gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I'm 205 pounds. I'll typically have 205 to 210 grams of protein a day. 210 is kind of my sweet spot just because I, I like to push it a little bit over. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm only eating protein. I also need to eat carbs because carbs is what gives you energy. And I also need to eat fats because now that I'm cutting, basically I'm also relying on fats too to even give me more energy. Because on the bulk, when you're eating so much food, you just sometimes you have tons of energy especially in the gym you're super strong and everything like that um but yeah so fats carbs and protein um carbs for me i'm having about 300 in a day and fats fats isn't that high of a number it's about 55 to 60. um it's pretty simple for protein uh if you want something that you know has good carbs in it and protein obviously i would suggest a protein bar um Typically, protein bars have about 20 grams of 20 to 30 grams of carbs and 25 grams of protein, somewhere around there. Uh, for extra other types of protein, I would say uh, right now, my previous video, I talked about what I ate in a day. Like I said, you could see literally everything I eat in a day in my previous video. Uh, but yeah, food is everything. If you're skinny and you want to become huge, what I would suggest is literally eat anything. Eat like five cups of rice in a day. Um, eat as much as beef, chicken, all that stuff. If you want Dons, eat Dons. Like, but don't go light on Dons. Get like five burgers. <laughs> I know it's pretty extreme, but when I was bulking, I would have probably four burgers from Don every other day. Uh, I had lots of Chipotle burritos. You can literally go get a double wrap Chipotle burrito with extra meat you'll see the size of that monster. Stretching, stretching as well uh, is what's also gonna help you build muscle as well. It, I, I kind of thought stretching was overrated until I started doing it and uh, basically stretching was what helps you be get better form so that you can properly build muscle. Um, like squatting, if you can't squat all the way down, you're not gonna get the full stretch, full potential of your legs um, on the way up. You're not gonna get the proper depth, so your your leg growth isn't it's gonna be it's gonna be minimized basically what i'm trying to say um so stretching is a huge thing also mindset you really need to be disciplined and be consistent in the gym like me i'm at a point right now where i'll if i don't gym six days six to seven days a week right now i will literally like jump off a cliff um and that discipline it, it came into me over like the span of three months i would say it takes time like i said patience is everything um but discipline is huge uh, in working out and consistency overall. Days where you don't wanna go to the gym, just <laughs> have a scoop of pre-workout and pre-workout is actually, a healthy dose of pre-workout is three to four times a week. Um, you don't really wanna have more than that. Uh, so don't be you know, taking it every single day because then you just won't even realize the pre-work because it doesn't even work. You're basically overdosing caffeine. Um, and it doesn't even work anymore on you. So yeah, three to four times a week. If you don't feel motivated, take pre. I swear, take pre. That's the only thing you need because then you get a huge rush of caffeine. Uh, you'll you'll just want to explode in the gym. Also, pre-workout sometimes makes tends to make you a little bit stronger in the gym too. It ups your performance. So maybe you'll get a couple extra reps on your PR or not PR like previous PR, old PR. Right, you'll just get extra reps on any workout, I guarantee you. Um, if you don't want to take pre, just, because I, I never really took pre, I, I would gym, 
like 5 a.m. back in the day. Uh, not back in the day, probably like a year ago. I'm kind of tied up now. I still wake up early. I do other, th other things now. I go to the gym around like 8, 9 now. Uh, but if you don't feel like taking pre, and I know the feeling. I've woken up in the past at like 5 in the morning and didn't take pre and just went to the gym. Uh, basically, what motivates me is just, I guess, it's like a mindset thing. I I, <laughs> I really uh, look up to like, I don't know, soccer players like Cristiano Ronaldo or like Kobe Bryant where you just got to be the best, you know you can't let anybody outwork you like I I um I I was I was compare trying to word this right I wasn't as big as uh everybody else basically and so I just wanted to really you know in a way shock a lot of people but really I was just proving to myself that I was able to do it I was able to put on size and everything like that. Like I remember when I graduated from high school, um, I wasn't the biggest. I had some muscle, but I wasn't the biggest. And then basically all summer, I I sacrificed my cutting body in the summer. I just decided to bulk in the summer because I wasn't happy at where I was and um, bulked up. And during the summer I was training and five in the morning. So I rarely would see people from school uh, at the gym because you know who who as a 17 16 year old goes to the gym at 5 a.m it's it's pretty ridiculous when i look back at it um but i would never see anybody and then uh there was this one weekend weekends i normally go at seven which is pretty early for a weekend as well because yeah nobody goes to the gym at seven on the weekend unless you're an old person sorry um uh but i went a little bit later and this was probably like mid to near the end of my bulk and I went a little bit later and I was probably close to 200 to 10 pounds um, and every like I saw so many people from school I saw like about I would say 15 people and everybody was just like anyone I thought I would say hi to or they would come up to me and say hi they were just shocked and it was just like the best feeling on the inside like like because when you work out, you don't see results, but other people do. Other people really, really, really notice your results. Um, and when people saw me uh, that I knew in the past, they were just like, they were so, so shocked. They were like, how? Like, what are you eating? Guys that were bigger than me during high school came up to me and they were like, yo, so what? what's your workout routine? What plans do you do? What, how do you bench? You know, things like that. I was getting texts from people on to gym with them, right? And that's another part too. You need to find if you're if you if you can. I didn't have one, but if you want, I would suggest it to find a gym buddy that wants to all, that have the same goals as you and wants to also become you know big as well. Um, because they they'll help push you, um, just like how you want to push yourself. Maybe if you're not motivated and sometime uh, sometimes you, you get a friend, you go with a friend and and. Um, you guys gym together and you realize you know it, it was worth it right on days you don't want to gym and you end up gymming those are the days that it really pays off because like i was saying it was just like the the idea of shocking everybody really um and the mentality so you need to be disciplined i remember mike tyson said something about discipline he was like discipline is the things you hate to do but you do it like you love it right which really like it really sunk into me and i was like that's words the small words like that like i'm sure if you look at my tiktok you've seen my room i literally have a bunch of affirmations on my walls and things like that um so little quotes like that, that that's what really really pushes me um on days that i don't feel like gymming at all but yeah discipline and consistency motivation is super overrated because motivation uh there's a cop <laughs> motivation like yeah you can be motivated but like say you don't feel like gymming now you're not motivated and you don't have the discipline to go to the gym so then you'll miss out on a gym day but if you stay disciplined then you'll and consistent then you'll go to the gym every single day who cares about motivation maybe you'll have like a picture of yourself for motivation but no motivation is overrated terribly 
Um, it's all discipline. Everything, everything, everything is discipline. Without discipline, you have nothing. So, yeah, three big things. Find your plan. Find your workout plan, your workout routine, your workout split. Find that and have a solid plan on how you're going to put, what, 10 pounds of muscle in a month or, or put on 20 pounds of mass in a month. Find that plan. Um, food is the second step. Food is huge. You can get a meal plan. I typically suggest four to five meals a day. And you don't want to have huge meals. You want to have smaller meals on the cut. What I do is I have about five meals in a day, uh, but they're small meals. So they're like snack sized meals, really. Um, but if you're bulking, then yeah, just eat everything. Have huge meals every single day. Um, and discipline and consistency. Those are the three steps. If you're not disciplined, you're not going to see any results. And if you're not consistent with anything, discipline, is, it's not just about the gym. It's with anything. Um, so, yeah. Plan your workouts. Get the proper nutrition and discipline. That's my suggestion. Future videos, I'll, I'll come out with more... Uh, workout plans you can watch my past videos to see basically my what I do at the gym and you can replicate that um, I'll put some sets and all that reps of everything I'll say them in the video and all that stuff um, maybe I'll future videos well I'll probably you know show you how to stay disciplined how you can be consistent and see results and things like that but yeah that's gonna be the end of this little drive talk podcast kind of thing um hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you got something taken away from this video um be sure to look at my tiktok follow my instagram same as my tiktok account i'll put everything in the bio and if you like the video like and subscribe please it means a lot to me and it's, i mean it is free right so <laughs> but uh yeah thanks guys and uh i'll see you guys next time